Hey, all everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Randomized and Nuzlocke. How are we all doing today? Hope you all are having a fantastic Friday. We are in March. I forgot to say that on Wednesday, but yes, we freaking are. Now, before we get started with our team recap, don't forget to leave a like and, of course, a comment. One of the best ways to help me and any other YouTuber around. The more you guys engage with me, the more I engage back with you, the more YouTube recognizes my channel and pushes it out to more people. Which would mean this next statement's even more important. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. Anyway, let us do the quickest of team recaps. First up, we've got Drake, our starter, the Axe You. With moves Dragon Claw, Dragon Ascent, Slash, Dragon Rage, Shadow Attack ability, and the Luck Incense. Next up is Tenebris, the Bisharp with Scratch, Fan Attack, Fury, Cutter, and Torment with the minus ability holding the Normalium Z. And we've got Uriah the Suicune with the moves Bite, Leer, Bubble Beam, Rain Dance, Anticipation ability holding the Lucky Egg. Then we've got an Egg. Then we've got Gas, the Mega Banat with Hex, Shadow Sneak, Will O Wisp, Faint Attack, and the ability Gooey. And last but not least, we've got Beguile, the Mega Mew 2. Confusion, Future Sight, Safeguard, Swift. Light metal ability and holding the wise glasses. All right, let us just jump right on in to this next challenge. I don't remember what we have to do here. By God, are we gonna find out? I'll teach you some tricks. Yeah, what are you gonna teach me? Did you use a water ball to catch a bee drill? Alright, we're gonna kill this dude and then we are going to uh, obviously go back and heal because we use Dragon Ascent and I would like to have as many moves as possible when we go and fight the bows. Good job, Beguile. Clam Pearl. At least Clam Pearl makes sense. But whatever. Nice. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like really lazy when it comes to like searching for po or free items half the time with our uh, doggo. So like sometimes I'll remember to like go and actually like sniff things out and other times I'm just gonna absolutely forget. So just get used to that. Hello, I'm Lana. I serve as the captain of Brooklyn Hill. So, trial ago, will you be attempting my trial? Definitely. Then I will explain the trial to you. My particular trial is this. I want you to herd the Pokemon found in the pools of Brooklyn Hill, driving them downstream to draw out the totem Pokemon. I might be so blunt, they are wishy-washy. It's wishy-washy I want you to herd. But I won't expect you to swim through all the pools yourself. I have a lovely gift to help you. You got a ride, Pager. Climb atop last press here. You will be able to travel over bodies of water. Now you'll be able to help drive those Pokemon downstream for me. So if you're ready, please follow me. So you made it. Uh, I'm sorry, what was your name? Of course, Crow, it is a lovely name, just a lovely. Now then, do you see those two splashes over there? I'm thinking that at least one of them might contain a wishy-washy. In fact, it's likely both might. Don't you understand? Just drive them downstream. Trial go, are you? You must believe in your partners then. In that case, I'll be waiting for you to come to the trial. I'm waiting for the rain to fall once more. 
You know what? I think I'll wait to fight. That's not a wishy-washy, that's an electrode. Yeah, see, so you can't catch. Well, this is a lovely surprise. You're quite the trainer. Thank you. Oh, I would love to get a bunch of legs. You may have noticed that the music sounds a little bit faster. I am running this at 110% right now. Simply because I figure, you know, I know Ultra Moon, Moon, Ultra Sun, Sun are slower games because they're much longer with like longer periods of like just running around doing things for people. So I figured, you know, it might be in our interest to run a little faster. Oh, I can catch Pokemon, eh? This lovely surprise. Yes, so you've said. At least this is a fairly easy challenge. Feebish. I wonder if I can just run from these. Nope. No running from trial. Wonderful. Flash should kill this Feebass. It doesn't have very good stats. So actually running a Feebass for a randomizer would actually be very difficult because it's not that good until you get its beauty up and then it's a much better Pokemon. It's a Fungus, a Moongus. Still wish we had a flying type, but whatever. I'm gonna have to use Dragon the Sun. Oh, shit. Okay. Bide is how you say, uh, horrified. We'll explore this area later. Because there's like Pokemon trainers we're ignoring right now. Because. I want to have as much power. Crow, over there, look! It would seem we succeeded in drawing out the totem Pokemon. Strike against the totem with all your strength and seize the victory! Oh. 
What do you think it's going to be, guys? Get your guesses out now. Oh, wait. Sorry. That is... Water. Oh. oh no! It's a cheerum. How horrifying! Whatever will I do? It's gonna kill me! Oh, Dragon Ascent. If it survives this, I will be like literally shocked. One shot at totem. Let's go. Mm. E freaking Z. Didn't even stand a freaking chance. Very well done, crowd. Please come back here. Please return my lap for us. What a very surprising surprise. Who would have thought it that all those wishy-washy gathering would have been summoned an arachnid it is? Hehe. <laughs> Even I was caught. Hook, line, and sinker. You were an amazing crowd. Truly impressive. Please take this. It's Waterium Z. It's like after that first totem trial, they're like, man, we really hit them really hard with that freaking Mewtwo. Let's make it a little easier on them. You do know what it is, don't you? Watch, this is how you use it. Make your arms go wavy. And I have more than just that to offer you another token. <laughs> but da -ra, da -ra, da -ra. When you want the fish, look for piles of rocks in the water. Oh, and here, have some dive balls. By the way, did you know I once reeled in a red Gyarados? You did? Well, what do you think? Did a fine job today. Yes, please see me back there. <laughs> Next is Kiwi's Trial. It will take place at Wayla Volcano Park. Oh, and that reminds me. Did you see any pseudo by Penioli Ranch? They were causing some trouble for people, so I gave them a little dash of the Z-Power using my Waterium Z, just a little lesson for them. But how they will react now that they see that you have it, too. Hey. I wonder if I didn't have, like, a Water-type Pokemon if, uh... I couldn't get past it. Hmm. See, it wouldn't have been a normal problem for me because, obviously... Oh? <gasps> Our egg! I've never seen an egg hatch for this game. Interesting look. That's a disappointment. Duh. <sighs> really was hoping for something cooler, but... Alright, let us take a look. Let's grab a ghost name from Emotive. We're gonna call you... Oh, you're a dark, not a ghost. Okay. I'm gonna call you Gramp Krampus, because you eat gems. And actually, in Pokemon um, Uranium, uh, there was actually a special Krampus model for this Pokemon. This last one, Christmas. All right. All right, we don't actually want it, so... We're gonna actually be replacing it, but let's see what it has first. Flame body. Not bad, but I have no interest in you, good sir. Oh. See, I would like Jose, but like, you don't have a lot going for you. Unfortunately. Just like the stats and everything else, it's just, it's just not lining up in a way that uh, is good in my opinion.
All right. What's our Brooklet Hill encounter? An Infernape. Okay. With the power invested in me, I command thee to be yeeted. We're not gonna use a Great Ball in an Infernape. I don't actually like Infernape all that much. I'm also one of the people who thinks we have too many fire fighting combo starters. <sighs> all right, now we need a fire nickname. You know what? I'm gonna call you Aid. Or aid. Um, you've got the ability battery. Oh, great for like double battles. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a good backup Pokemon for if we need extra things. What a preferred Incineroar, though. Anything but what we got is what I would have preferred. Oh well. Is what it is. Anyway. Think we've got three trainers to fight? And I want to explore that bottom area to see if there's any more, like, uh, items for us to grab. Toge tomorrow. What the fuck is that? That's a fat Pikachu. That is a big ass. That's a big ass fat Pikachu. That's like classic Pikachu right there. Wow, looks like I've been defeated by defeat. Or, I've been visited by defeat. I have been defeated by defeat! This is a fine rain. I think I can handle the skirmish against your Pokemon. Ace Trainer Scarlet, eh? A Snivy. How dare you see to me? Beguile. Wow, this guy had two starters already. Mm. I need Psy, what is it, Blast? 
There's a psychic move that is physical. Would be a lot more useful for Beguile. Diglet, dig. That's normal Diglet too. Wonderful. Magnitude seven. That did nothing. All that did was stir up this tsunami of hate against you. It's raining in my heart too. I wonder if there will be a rainbow. <laughs> Rainy days are the best. No one can see your tears. It's like, Jesus, dude. No one can see you cry. I'm like, what the fuck? No one can see you die. Respectable Mudsdale, Mudsdale, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. Good job killing the Mudsdale. Good job, lots of legs. You've got lots of legs. <laughs> Hakomo. Hakomo! Oh. Getting a Hakomo, um, like the Omo's, would have been a good idea for, like, backups just in case something happens to Drake. But I think at this point, barring some, like, Shadow Tag Ice Pokemon, we should be locked in with Drake, with zero issues. Knock on wood, of course. When the fishing line has been cast, the sucker may come along wanting to battle. Uh, <clears throat> a trainer will be hooked. Mess sprit? I think this is the being of emotion? I can't remember which ones are which. Which one's Azelf, Mesprit, and um, the other one? Azelf, Mesprit, and... I don't know. No, not teaching you curse gas. And there it is. The ice Pokemon that could have gotten us cut. <laughs> Thankfully, you didn't lead with Mammoth Swine. I think I could have still killed Mammoth Swine before it did any lasting damage, but. Uh. Wormple! Stay in, Yuria. We'll just bubble beam it to death. Tenebris finally learned a metal move, thank god. <laughs> Good job, Drake! You know, Hypnosis isn't a bad move to get. 
simply for like catching mons, but unfortunately for us, we have no use for it because we are just godly when it comes to catching Pokemon. Pokemon just leap into our arms. This is technically a different area. We can technically get another Mon here. Hey, 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 hey. Well, this is our other Mon. God, I hate these Pokemon. But we're gonna catch it so that we don't have to get one again. Or nose pace or anything, really. I mean, worst case scenario, assuming it's not like a fire type or something, like, Probo Pass, or Ground, uh, is a real good, like, uh, stall mon. Like, nice and thick, and can just eat up hits for years. Either way, we're gonna catch it so I don't have to deal with it again. I think your primary steal, but we're gonna see here in a second. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Probo pass. You are... Rock. CK. I'm gonna rock and roll all night long. Uh, I guess we'll go with Terra. T E R R A. Ba -da -da -da. Let's see your summary. Stand change. Useless. I was considering trying fishing for my luck, but whatever. Alright, we're done here. Oh boy, let's see another Pokemon I would have preferred to get over Infernape. Okay, it's just another Infernape. Why you gotta do me dirty like that game? You could have shown another cool Pokemon, but no, you had to just show the Infernape. Or were you trying to spare my feelings? Ha 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 ha. That's okay. All right, we're gonna head on down to the um, ba da 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 pseudo -woodos. After we heal. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Sudowoodo are fascinating Pokemon as well, worthy of being a research topic all of their own. The way they move plants in order to avoid water, how very interesting. Just as our research suggested, Captain Fico. Indeed, we must gather data about Pokemon if we want to win Pokemon battles after all. That being said, there is no need for us to use these odd Alolan Pokemon. Soliera, if you would be so kind. Trader, could you ask? Could I ask you to face me in a Pokemon battle? And I will face you with my poiple. The fuck's a poiple? <gasps> Manager Jessica. <laughs> Alright, I need a Google Poiple, because I've never heard of that Pokemon before. Oh, it's cute! 
The poison pin Pokemon. I don't know if you can see it. That's Poifel. It's adorable. Anyway, Empoleon, eh? Special defense. Di the idea here is Dragon Claw 1. Ah, oh, that's not gonna be near enough. The best option is gonna be Dragon Rage to death. So we don't have any ground moves or fighting moves to really cut through it. Sword Stance, you're dead, doesn't matter, unless you heal. But even if you heal, uh, we'll be able to Dragon Rage you down a lot of your. So that'll give you 50. Ah. Well, either way. You're still dead. You needed to boost your speed more than anything. You, you did an X speed plus that sword stance and then you used like Aqua Jet. Ugh. It's not Poipo that failed in this battle. It's his eye as a trainer who I failed. Thank you very much. I was able to understand Poipo better, but it seems my Pokemon battle skills leave much to be desired. That same power ring of yours, its light feels somewhat nostalgic. Do you think it is the same light our ancestors gaze upon? The light said to have come from the blinding one. Who can tell, yet it is our duty as the Ultra Recon Squad to find that out. If they're trying to blend in, they 100% don't. Those weird people had weird Pokemon to match. Well, I guess it's not a big deal. The weird people are gone, so it's the widow! Yay! Here you go. Synchronized stretching. Now I've seen everything. Captain Kiwi is teaching me how to dance. Training, training, dancing and Pokemon both need more training. Oh shit, we're over our time limit. Well, it's Friday. Y'all get a little bit extra. Haxorius and a Silvalli. Uh-oh. Captain, we've got some danger here. I need to guarantee the Haxorus death. So even though this is probably a waste and we would have one-shot it regardless with our uh, Drake, I would prefer not to take a chance on a Nuzlocke. If you guys know of any uh, Z uh, powers that I can get that are outside of the normal route that you think I might miss, please let me know. Or at the very least, like, guide me towards them. If you can, that way, you know, we try to get a little bit of everything. But anyway, I think this is where we're gonna leave it off, and we'll pick up again right about here with our Moo Moo friends next week. So, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and until the next time, everybody, stay Funk at Pepper!